What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tips and tricks tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the enumeration function, which is very useful when you want to index data that is not indexed yet. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to explain the concept of enumeration directly by using it. Let's say we have a list of names or objects or whatever. So John and Mike and Anna and Bob and I don't know, Sarah. And what we want to do is we want to assign indices to those names. So you want to have not just John, Mike, Anna, you want to have zero is John. You want to have one is Mike. You want to have two is Anna and so on. You want to have indices, uh, numbers, you want to enumerate those values. Now, what you can do in Python in order to accomplish that is you could just go ahead and say counter equals zero, for example, and you say for name in my names. We're just going to go ahead and say print f string and then we're going to say index, so counter in this case, um, and then we can say name. And we have to increase the counter every time, of course. And then we can actually go ahead and do this. So you can see zero, John, one, Mike, two, Anna. And of course, you can also say this in a dictionary. So you can create a dictionary and then store the key, uh, the counter as the key and the name as the value and so on. Uh, and this is not necessarily a stupid way, a way to do it, but it's unnecessarily complex by creating a variable, increasing it. Because in Python, you have a tool called enumeration or enumerate the function enumerate that allows you to do exactly that without having to maintain your own control variable here. So um, the same thing can be accomplished by just saying for index or counter or whatever for index and name in enumerate my names, we can just go ahead and print f index and name. And you'll see that the result is the exact same because the enumerate uh, the enumerate method what is what it does is it takes the collection and assigns an index to all the values. So we can get rid of this here and actually also get rid of this here. And when I print enumerate my names, you can see what the result is, or actually you cannot see what the result is. Um, I think we have to typecast it either into a list or a dictionary. Uh, list is enough. As you can see, we get zero John, we get tuples of a number and a name, we get zero John one Mike and so on, because that is what enumerate does it creates a list of tuples. Now, instead of just having the names, we have a number and a name, we have a, a, a key value pair, so to say, I'm not sure if we can just go ahead and typecast it into a dictionary. Uh, yeah, it's possible as you can see. So zero is John one Mike, and that's uh, the more practical way to enumerate values in Python instead of doing uh, doing it manually. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. As you can see, uh, this video was a very short one and a lot of these tips and tricks videos are very short because there are just little bits of information, little tricks and tips in Python. You don't need more than three or four minutes to explain them. And these videos are not major tutorials. They're just uh, coming very frequently because there's a lot uh, to do in Python. There are a lot of interesting hacks and uh, tips and tricks in Python. And because of that, this series is coming quite frequently and you can uh, build your Python expertise step by step by using those tricks and tips. So if you enjoyed this series, let me know by uh, hitting a like button, leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.